Hey, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the Thomas Nelson KJV Giant Print Center Column Reference Bible Premier Collection in Brown Goatskin. This releases today. So let's take a look at it and see how it compares to the previous edition. And a couple others. Like all the Premier Collection, they come in this elegant, nice little wrapping. Of course, I've already opened it. And there is our brown goat skin. About a medium shade of brown, close to a tan. Has a lot of uh, a lot of different color variation in there on purpose so that it gives it some, some visual texture. Love the look and, and feel of this. Has a nice grain to it. Perimeter stitched, nothing printed on the front. And then on the side, on the spine, we have our raised spine ribs. One, two, three, four, five raised spine ribs. And then... Then her text printed in gold. Looks nice. Feels nice. It's it's floppy, but it's not so over floppy that it's hard to hold. Has three double sided ribbons, brown, blue, and red. Art gilt edges, Smythe sewn. Brown liner. This is leather, leather liner with uh, the gilt line. Edge line. And the edge line tab is is uh, not over stiff, so I mean it will it will stay open. It'll this is still new, so it'll take a little bit to stay open, but presentation page, and that's the thick paper, so that it gives it some structure, a couple of those. 36 GSM European paper. And this paper is easy to turn, it's highly opaque. A little bit of a smooth feel to it, looks and feels nice. I like this. Printed in China, from materials from around the world. Using the uh, 2K Denmark designed comfort print font just for the KJV. And you'll see the, a little separation right there. The reason for that is this is has overcast stitching. I'm not sure if that's showing up well on the image there or not. But overcast stitching. That gives it more structure. Previous edition did not have that. But so far all of the new editions that I've reviewed that have the spine ribs they're all overcast stitched so let's just get into it we have a double column center column reference verse by verse with uh, red for the chapter number and the drop cap and our information across the top we have book name chapter and verse number we have in the over the inner column we have our page summaries and then we have our page number and then the chapter and verse numbers, pilot numbers, in the reference column are also in red. This includes some updated words in the footnotes so that uh, they define the words that are no longer in use. Archaic words, words that have changed in meaning, that sort of thing. This is, this is an easy Bible to read. 12 point font, really dark. I like how dark this font is. Easy to preach from, easy to read from. Let's see. The beginning of each book, we have a book introduction. And they take up about close to a half page. They're usually about two paragraphs, and they cover the, the book itself, the main people, the main events, um, the name of the book, the author, a little bit of information like that. And you can see how flexible that is. Super flexible. And it is a black letter edition. So when we get over here to the, the New Testament, you'll see it does not have the words of Christ in red. It's just a, a black, nice black text. Easy to read. No self-pronouncing text or anything like that. It is line matched. And then in the very back, we have, each book starts on a new page, so you have some, a uh, little bit of space there if you want. A few other little features here in the very back. Some tables, Miracles of Jesus. Parables of Jesus, a one-year reading plan. The one-year reading plan gives you 
a morning and an evening reading. The morning is in the New Testament and the evening is in the Old Testament. It gives you the, the month and the date. And then our concordance. Nice concordance. It's good for good for basic study. And in the very back we have our maps. And these are the Zondervan maps that we usually find in Thomas Nelson novels. Seven maps. From eight pages. And that is a quick look at the KGV Giant Print Premier Collection. I, I like this leather. The leather is elegant. Really nice. Let's compare it to a few others. This is the original that I reviewed last year. Contents are identical. So internally it's the same Bible. No difference at all. But the difference is going to be the leather where we don't have the spine ribs on the original and of course the color and then the ribbons are different ribbons are just as long but the on the original they were not double sided and they were also not cut at an angle so these are now double sided satin ribbons cut at an angle 3 8 inch everything else about it is the same so if you're familiar with with uh, this Bible you'll be familiar with that Bible internally and here is the KJV Preaching Bible. It is also in brown. Now this one is calfskin. So the leather is going to be quite a bit different. Quite a bit of difference between the two. But it's also edge lined. Not a leather lining I don't think. Footprint is about the same. Pretty close. Pretty similar. Preaching Bible is a little thinner, but then the difference would be the references. And the Preaching Bible does not have book introductions. So if we just let's see, let's go to Psalms. Psalms is a pretty one. Preaching Bible does not have art gilt edges. And it also has 36 GSM paper, but the paper is a little different. It feels thicker than 36 to me. This feels 36. Absolutely. But this one feels thicker than that to me. It's just the difference in the type of paper. But uh, the Preaching Bible has a wider column because the footnotes and references are in the footer instead of in the margin or in the center column. Also, the Preaching Bible has more references than this one does. Preaching Bible does not have a concordance or maps. So there's nothing else in the back. And here is the New King James verse by verse comfort print that just released. There's how they look next to each other. The New King James is a little thicker. Both have the spine ribs. Both have overcast stitching. The leather on the New King James, at least this one, is just a little bit more flexible. That could be because this has had a lot more use on it than this one has. This one, I've used it since I got it back in uh, August. This one, I've only been using for a week something along that line so that could be the difference there and then internally both are verse by verse but as you can see here the uh, New King James does retain the poetic setting and it has uh, red section headings also where the KJV does not have section headings also this one is in red letter so that's how that compares looks to be the, about the same red between the two This one is a 10 point font, and this one's a 12 point font. And then a lot more references, larger concordance, and the same maps. So 
that's weighing. See how much weight we got here. Two pounds eleven point six ounces. And let's measure. I have the exact measurements and all, all the specs on BibleBuyingGuide.com. So if you want more detail, we're looking at about six and three quarter, uh, close to ten. Just under one and a half. So that's our quick look at the Thomas Nelson KJV Giant Print Center Column Reference in Brown Goatskin Premier Collection. I like that bottle. I like that brown. That brown is really nice, really elegant. I was sold on the preaching Bible, but this one is kind of calling to me here. I'll, I'll keep using it and let you know. I've preached from it a lot, from the other one and from this one, and I like it. I like preaching from it. I, I do like preaching from this one. That, that's a good reference edition. So Thomas Nelson did supply this in exchange for an honest review. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll post some links where you can make a purchase in the notes and also a link to the review at BibleBuyingGuide.com if you want to see uh, more photos and see more detail. Thanks for watching.